like a bell cut. Hey what is up people and welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to teach you how to render faster in Adobe After Effects and pretty much every Adobe product that you might be using. So if you are like me and you had bought a really powerful processor such as the AMD FX 8350 which probably, no not probably, which actually has 8 cores and 8 threads. So you want to use all the 8 cores and 8 threads. Yeah I made it in paint. It looks so pretty. So let me just load up a project right now. Here's the precom for my recent video. So, Adobe After Effects by default actually doesn't use all of your cores. You actually have to set it on from the edit preferences, and then you have to go to. Uh, I just forgot it. Then you have to go to general. Yep, it's general. So from there, you will want to go to memory and multiprocessing so there you go you can see all your Adobe products over here and then there's the render multiple frames simultaneously this is not going to be selected for you but you could just click it and CPU's reserved for other applications if you might be using your CPU for everything else such as uh, for example you might be playing a game while you're rendering so that you won't be wasting any time but Who's gonna play game anyways? We could just put it onto render and make it faster. So you could take this down to zero for the fastest results and RAM allocations this might be different for you. In my case I have just 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you have higher gigabytes of memory, you could just take the highest thing possible to get the maximum number of CPUs that will be used. For example, if I take three, it'll be zero. If I take two, it's gonna be two cores. It's gonna use two of my threads. If it's 1.5, it's 3, 1, 5 and it just scales up as you go down on the, down on the memory. But if you have 18 gigs of RAM installed, you could confidently go to 1.5 gigabytes and set it up so that every thread on your CPU uses that amount of RAM. RAM is pretty much very fast. It doesn't depend on how much fast of RAM you have. Yeah, for instance, I have the 1600 Corsair Vengeance RAM and then there's the installed RAM. I have 8 gigabytes of memory and RAM reserved for other device applications you could take it up to as high as 7 or take it down to 1.5 but just put it low because you want the fastest possible frame rates right I'm gonna demonstrate how it's gonna be actually actually I closed it for no reason so I'm gonna demonstrate how it's gonna be with everything set to default right so Here's MSI Afterburner so that we could monitor everything while we are rendering. There we go, I'm gonna set the render up. Must have at least one render item. Okay. Something wrong. Yeah. Now let's render. So, right now if you can see, it's not gonna put much of a load on my CPU. There's the CPU 1, CPU 2, CPU 3 and everything. They're not much on a stress or anything. And then there's the RAM usage. It's ramping up to 4.4 gigahertz, uh, gigabytes. Sorry. Uh, it's not very much fantastic so that you would get some exciting results out of it. But check this out. You want to set it to memory and multiprocessing. Render multiple frames simultaneously. And then there's the number of cores and click OK. Check out the magic. Something's wrong with this. Yeah. And yeah, voila. Everything's at 100%. Every single core. I'm gonna show it through the task manager as well so that you would understand how fast this thing goes when you set it to the multiple cores. Most of the processes these days have at least four cores well at least two cores and about four threads due to the hyper threading on intel side but i have eight threads and eight cores and you can directly see the results for yourself the cpu is at 100 percent memory is at 7 gigabytes of memory before this it was 4.5 gigabytes of memory and the disk is being used pretty much and i uh, remember that it's not gonna use much of your disk because you don't need much of a faster what you call it faster 
hard drive anyways because you'll be rendering every frame after frame which is not gonna take much of a memory dip I'd say so that's all for today thank you for watching and if you have learned something new please put your comment down in the uh, comment section down below so that we would know that what you have learned right and there you go 100 percent 100 percent and it's much faster right now yes it would have taken me one and a half hour to render a minute worth of video but for now it's gonna take only 25 minutes which is a really really good result because you wanna put the render times as low as possible thank you for watching as always i'm the amazing mr potato and hakuna matata yes um i'm gonna do a quick modern art right now yep i'm selling it for 100 billion thank you for watching